Good morning and welcome to Sunday School and a special Mother's Day to everybody out there who is a mother or an auntie or somebody that is special in your life, a grandma. I got some flowers for Mother's Day. Do you see my flower basket up there? Isn't that pretty? Today's a special day because it's Mother's Day. It's also a special day because our lesson is about how God promised us to be with us. Remember, we're talking about God's promises this month, and today is how God promises to be with us. And so we have three different people we're in the Bible we're going to be talking about, and how God promised to be with them, and how he was with them. So first, I want to show you something. Do you see this? It's a balloon full of air, right? So how do you know there's air in here? You can't see it, but you can tell because it's inflated. You can hear me let the air out. You can see the effects of the air. And just like the three that we're going to talk about today, Moses, Joshua, and Gideon, God promised to be with them. And even though they couldn't see him, they could see the results of God being with them as they went through the different trials they had to go through. Let's learn more. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day will I begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the land of the Midianites. Have not I sent thee? And he said unto him, O my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee, and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. Oh, I am with you even to the end of the world. Matthew 28, 20. Thank you, Mackenzie and Noah. Now let's talk about our three examples we had. We had Moses, Joshua, and Gideon. Now, all three of them, God promised to be with them. And if we continue reading in the word, God was with, with Moses and God showed Moses exactly what he needed to do, where he needed to go. And Joshua, he knew that he could count on God being with him because he saw that he was with Moses. Gideon, if we read further in Gideon, Gideon was able to prove that God was with him because God helped them through so many battles. All three of these men were not natural leaders, but they were willing followers and they were willing to do what God asked of them. And because of that, he could prove that he was with them. Just like God was with Moses and Joshua and Gideon, God can be with us. And there are so many ways that even in my own family, we've been able to prove that God can be with us just as he promised. We've talked in the past few weeks about how if we want to work for Jesus, then we need to make sure we give our hearts to him. Only those who have promised their lives to the Lord and they seek after God, those are the only ones who can be promised that God will be with them. I have a friend that has a very special part of her testimony that she's going to share with us. And I hope that you enjoy it just as much as I did because she was able to prove this was just one of many, many times in her life that she could prove that God was with her. 
Let's listen. I would like to share with you today something God did for us when our children were small. My husband had been laid off from work and there came a time when we had no money for food. And it was a Sunday morning and it was a burden on my heart. So I asked the Lord to help us. We needed to provide for our children and it was wonderful. We Nothing had happened, but we uh, got our coats on. It was a very cold day outside and uh, put our coats on and we were walking out towards the car and it was so cold I put my hands in my pocket. I felt something in my pocket and I pulled it out and it was a $20 bill. Can you believe it? Yes, God does things like that. Oh, we thank him and praise him. We had food for a week and it was wonderful. I hope you have a good day and I hope you have something wonderful happen from Jesus too. Bye bye. It's the light of mine. I'm the light it shine. It's the light of mine. I'm the light it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Shine all over the world, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine all over the world, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. God is with me, God is with me, God is with me, He's so good to me, I'll praise His name, I'll praise His name. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so great. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. I think you guys can do louder. What do you think? Let's do it a second time. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. 
for you. Enjoy today's lesson. I know it's kind of a short one, but it's Mother's Day and we want to make sure that you have time to spend with your loved ones. So let's take a moment now to pray before we close this video. Dear Lord, we just pray right now that you'd be with each student and each person that has tuned in today, that you'd just be with them, that you'd remind us all throughout the coming days that you're always with us, even though we can't see you, that you're right there. Please just help us, Lord, to take to heart everything that we've heard today and to apply it to our lives and help us all. We want to, most of all to have you living in our hearts and just to be pleasing to you in all that we say and do in the coming days. We thank you for all your blessings now. In Jesus' name, amen.